The Verdi Square Festival of the Arts is an annual series of free one-hour outdoor concerts presenting outstanding young talent at New York's historic Verdi Square Park, located on the Upper West Side at the convergence of Broadway, 72nd Street, and Amsterdam Avenue. It's a very interesting park. It's one of the oldest parks in New York City, taken over by the Parks Department in 1887. It's also one of the smallest parks. Acreage 0.05 acres. Since 2006, the festival has brought music back to a small park with a large musical heritage. The statue of the great opera composer Giuseppe Verdi dominates Verdi Square. Legendary artists such as Caruso, Chaliapin, and Toscanini, while living at the adjacent Ansonia Hotel, New York's premier hotel of the time, regularly strolled through the park, as did neighborhood residents, the Gershwin brothers. This venue is, uh, reminds me of a great deal of grandfather who first lived here at the Ansonia Hotel when he was conducting the Metropolitan during the years 1908 to 1915. Today, young artists venture forth from the Sanctuary of Conservatories to face real audiences in a venue unlike any other. Gigs like these are really important, I think. Um, this trial by fire kind of singing, we've got the subway below us, we've got the cars over here, we've got Lord knows in the audience. This is really prepares you for real life performances. It's a grand night for singing. You gotta get out there, you gotta, you gotta be performing, you gotta be in front of an audience, you have to be learning you have to be gaining experience. They very much like the way a crowd gathers. It's very interesting, on a good day, you get hundreds and hundreds of people. They're coming out of the subway, and they're coming out of stores, and they hear the music, and they get interested in it. You'd think they would just walk by, but they actually stay and they listen. We just came out of the subway station, and we saw a sign, a free concert, and we said, yeah, a free concert. We'll bring our dinner here, and we'll just uh, say, sit down. It's a small festival with a big reach, supported by music lovers not only in New York, but across the nation, in Europe, and beyond. It's been wonderful just to sit here and come to this beautiful little park and be able to hear music such as this. The Verdi Square Festival contributes significantly to the quality of life in its neighborhood while helping form the next generation of great artists. The people I've been working with and speaking to have been absolutely wonderful, attentive, charismatic. They just absolutely love us and we in turn it's been a pleasure and very supportive atmosphere. It's a total professional organization. Everything is taken care of way before you even think about it. I loved it here. I love the energy of New York. That's why I moved here. That's why I came to school here. And just being able to play and actually to just feel the energy around you as you're performing. The idea for the festival came about when Laurie Grossman, a neighborhood resident returning from a trip to Italy in 2005, wanted to create a small outdoor music festival at Verdi Square, as she had observed in her travels. Next thing I knew, I ran over to my computer, emailed everyone I knew, and the rest is history. One of the friends she contacted was fellow Westsider George Litton. Litton brought with him an extensive list of contacts in the music field. Together, they assembled an advisory board of music professionals. They also contact New York City Parks Commissioner Adrian Benepe, himself an ardent opera lover. We came to him, proposed the idea of presenting opera on Verdi Square. His eyes lit up and he said, Comincia la Commedia. An executive board of volunteers was formed, and the festival was launched on September 10, 2006, featuring artists of the Manhattan School of Music performing works of Verdi, Rossini, and Donizetti. Since that time, artists from the Manhattan School of Music, Manas College, and the New England Conservatory of Music Boston have presented a wide range of repertory, primarily opera. But also including American musical theater, jazz, klezmer, Bluegrass. Tell me, darling, please tell me true. Always of the highest quality. The festival has even had a permanent effect on the park. A very good friend of mine, an Italian, and I were strolling through the park one late December evening, and she said, How sad. Nobody would know that there's a statue of Giuseppe Verdi. In Italy, we illuminate our statues of great men. Well, that was a challenge. One of our charter sponsors for our first season was the restaurant Salamaria Rossi Parmacotta, just around the corner here. 
by arrangement with the Verdi Square Festival. The restaurant and its parent company, Parmacotta SPA, one of Italy's leading food companies with headquarters in Parma, provided the financial support to install permanent illumination of the great composer's statue. We created a new bond between Verdi Square and the city of Parma. We have a lovely letter from the mayor of Parma. Mayor Bloomberg himself noted that we've made a difference here on Verdi Square. The Verdi Square Festival of the Arts' sixth wonderful season starts on Sunday, September 18th, 2011. For details and information about this season's concerts, please visit the festival's website, verdisquarefestival.com. It's everything concerts, especially outdoor concerts, should be, which is all about fun and entertainment. This is like, this is the way it should be. This is what New York should be all about. Absolutely. It's this kind of a free concert. I'm getting my checkbook out to write a check, so next year this can also happen. To become a friend of the Verdi Square Festival, please visit the sponsorship page of the festival website or contact George Litton by email, info at verdisquarefestival.com. Thank <laughs> you.